It is Scandinavian heavy here with two Danish riders, a Swede, and the sole representative from Australia, Max Frick. Not quite possibly the lineup we expected to see, but nonetheless, a terrific final to finish the night off here in Warsaw. It's been a smashing night of speedway, I've got to say. The noise, the atmosphere, the racing really has done it proud. So it's final time in Warsaw. It's prediction time, Kelvin. Oh, Come thanks, on. mate. Um, it's not an easy call, but I'm going to go. I'm going to go with Freddie Lindgren, just because of the roller coaster he's been on throughout yeah. the night. Here we see the lineup because of off the inside in red. Leon Madsen out of gate two in blue. Freddie Lingwin coming out of gate number three in white. And off the outside, Max Frick, who chose that. He had the pick, had the first pick. And it's final time in the Naradovi in Warsaw. I'm going to go with Max Frick. I'm going to him off gate four. I knocked him for taking it in the semi-final. Yeah. <laughs> I won't knock him this time. No, we can't do that now. He proved us all wrong there, and he did a marvellous job. Mikkel Mikkelsen will be a danger, of course he is. On the inside, he hesitated, he wasn't quite sure because he made such a great effort in semi-final number two, coming out of gate three. So here we see the boys just doing a little bit of gardening around. So Mickelson on the inside, Leon Manson, gate number two in blue. Freddie Lingren, gate three in white. And off the outside, Max Frick. They haven't tracked Frick now. They leave it for the final. So there is a little bit of evolution that's gone on in the first two semi-finals. There is a bit of dirt out wide. Frick has used it beautifully tonight. He's got that bike working really well, but Frick also made a really good and clever move on that opening lap, where he closed the door on yeah. the opposition going into turn three. Gate four just gives you those options. I think that's what he's after. Yeah, he likes that little bit of extra racing room. Second final of the year. Back in the Naradovi, the pandemic obviously kept us away for 2020 and 2021. It's 2022, and we're back here. One more lap, four laps of action, just under 60 seconds. Who's going to win here tonight? Green lights on. Takes up and away we go. Mickelson makes a good stop, and Frick's there as well. Oh. Frick's made it from the outside. Really what a move from the Australian. He's down the back straight. He's fired himself to the front. Oh. Leo Madsen, Mickelson's down. Time. Red light's going to come on. Red lights are on. I think he took Drama. his handlebars. He took his handlebars away. Drama in the final. Somebody's going to have to go now. It's not the first corner. Madsen could go here. Madsen very strong going into that third corner, Chris. Yeah, he was very forceful. And I think he may have just taken his arm hand off the handlebars. We'll have to see that one again. Oh, Max Frick must have thought he was going to win here. I think it's the first time we've seen somebody actually get across no, no, from no, gate no, four no, 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 no. all night. You know, they've made uh, cutbacks, they've made runs around the outside, but he just went straight across. Yeah, absolutely fabulous start from the outside. Leon Madsen, no exclusion light on yet, but there will be one coming. No, but he's... We're he's... going to be concerned about Mikko Mickelson. Leon knows that there's a chance he could go here. He's just said he's leaning on me. What do you think? What are your thoughts on that? Need to see it again. I'm not sure if he was leaning on him. It's a final. You wouldn't blame him if he was, um, you know, but I need to see it again. Well, you can now. Yeah, here we go. And we can see uh, Leon just uh, coming up the inside of Nicholson. There, there's definitely contact. But Leon, um, Leon has got the better of him there. He has got his nose in front of him there, Chris. Yeah. Let's just have a look from this angle. Uh, I think Mickelson's in front. Ooh. He's in front. He's... Ooh. I disagree with you. No, no, I haven't looked at it again. I'll tell you what. <laughs> if Mickelson went, it wouldn't be a shock. Because I think Leon is at this point in front. He's got the better but, of it there. But he hasn't enabled Mickelson to get in the corner because he can't straighten the bike up. He's going to crash anyway. And, and the leg is gone. But Leon had nowhere to go. Where was he going to go? He was going to have to go to the centre green to miss him. Had he overcommitted himself? Well, no, because... <laughs> well, look, we could argue about oh, that all night long. to be a referee. Oh, yeah. I I'm, I'm <laughs> delighted I'm not a referee yeah. this evening because yeah. that's a difficult call. That's a very difficult and call. And either way it goes, both riders are going to feel aggrieved, aren't they? Yeah, yeah.
Doesn't matter who's excluded. But Leon we'll Benson was just fractionally in front of him. He leaned on me. No exclusion yet. Chris Gardell taking his time here. That's a tough one. And it's a really tough call. And um, certainly I wouldn't want to be the one to make it. And uh, it is drama here in the final. Which way is it going to go? Would it be Leon or would it be uh, Mikael Mickelson? They're still attending to Mickelson. Mickelson, oh, we're hearing. Yeah. I've yet to see the exclusion light come on. So we'll just hang on until we see that to be absolutely um, uh, confirmed. Still attending to Mickelson on the safety fence. We are, there's a strong suspicion that it is Mikkel Mickelson. But I want to wait. Red is out. Red is out. Mikkel Mickelson goes. Chris Gardell clearly felt that Leon Madsen had got the better of him and Mickelson was leaning all over him. A reprieve possibly for Madsen, but a tough call nonetheless, Chris. Tough call. Um, you know, I think at the end of the day, he could have gone either way with that one. He really could have gone either way with that one. Someone was going to miss out. And, uh, yeah, Mickelson, he did stick to his guns, try to get into the corner. When you saw the slow motion, Mikkel Mickelson's Kevlar's were caught on the footrest of Leon yeah. Madsen. And there's no question that kind of pulled him in yeah, towards yeah, yeah, him yeah, yeah. and unsettled him halfway down the back straight. And Leon Madsen, when you saw it again, he really had no choice where no. to go. And he hadn't moved over, he hadn't changed his line, no. he was just coming past. Yeah, so. and, uh, you know... Tough call, really tough call. Possibly the right one, though. Yeah, I think, I think, I think on possibly, balance, yes. Possibly the right one. We haven't come to blows at the commentary box yet. Maybe later <laughs> in the season we will, but not tonight. We're still It'll friends. Happen. We're still friends. Can we see it again, Chris? What's Kevlar's get caught on the uh, bike, on the hand, yeah, on the yeah. footrest now? Yeah, you can see it there. And that definitely unsettles him. You see it's almost pulling him off the bike. Yeah, he turns maybe a little earlier than he wants to, and, and it's that bit where Madsen's back wheel just takes his leg away that you think, well, it could be Madsen, but, you know, that really was a 50-50 call. Someone had You to know go. what, if he'd done his zip up, it probably wouldn't have happened. <laughs> um, just the small well, things. This should have been old school and had the Kevlar's inside the boots. <laughs> Certainly. Tough one, though, for Mickelson, who finished third uh, two weeks ago. He'll be desperately disappointed. He'll still pick up 14 World Championship points, yeah, and yeah. so that is some confidence. And. Uh, so uh, we have some concerns about Mikkel Mickelson. He hasn't made it back to the pits. And uh, unfortunately for him, there is some concern about his health. So we keep our, we are keeping our fingers crossed that all is well there. He's not, uh, not actually laying down, but uh, as I say, attention for Mikkel Mickelson is required. And uh, Possibly even if he'd been in the rerun, he may well not have been able to take his place in it um, because uh, it was a heavier fall than we uh, first thought. I think Max I think that Frick. Is... I mean, Max Frick had made a sensational oh, yeah. start. Best start of but the night. you know what? This is a sort of time when an experienced head may just come to the fore because Freddie Lindgren has got a second chance here. Yeah. And Max Frick must have felt that he had this race in his back pocket. He must have felt that he was going to win the Grand Prix from there. As you said, he was the first rider all night long to have actually got across from gate yeah. four. Yeah, clear and, start. Uh, I think um, Mickelson's exclusion probably is advantage Madsen as far as the first turn goes. He's got no one on the inside of him now. So it's almost like coming from, from gate one. I tell you what, I don't think he'd been able to be in the final anyway. Well, he looks in a lot of discomfort. Yeah, I think uh, the left arm is obviously clearly a problem. And uh, Phil Morris there, Hans Nielsen on the left there with the red top on, the Danish team manager. Concern on his face. And uh, we keep our fingers crossed that um, Mikkel Mickelson can make it. I'll tell you what, he's unsteady on his feet, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, he really he has yeah. taken a heavy blow there, Chris, and that is of some concern. I'm surprised they haven't actually put him on the stretcher and lifted him off, but um, clearly wanted to make his exit on his own two feet. And uh, 
An appreciative crowd there just uh, applauding him away. Nobody's left, and that's the, to the credit of the bonus crowd. They haven't got a representative in the final, but they're here to see it right through to the conclusion. So we've got a rerun with three riders here. So all riders are um, uh, going to be on the rostrum as long as they... Um, yeah, Lingren guaranteed a fourth rostrum on the trot here in the... Uh, Good start. Good start. Loving it. Loving your work, Chris. <laughs> and, um, as I say, I just got a feeling, I don't know why, but just the sort of thing now with this rerun, he might just pop up with this now, but... Um, I'm sticking with Max. Yeah, I can understand that entirely, you know, the start he made. Although, I do feel that Madsen's been given an advantage now without having a rider on the inside of him. Yeah. But, um, uh, it will, time will tell. So uh, now, it's a shame we haven't got four representatives here, but um, uh, here we see it's final and it's the restart. And uh, four more laps of action here in Poland, in Warsaw, to find the winner of the night. These three riders are guaranteed a rostrum spot, of course. We just don't know what order they're going to finish in. And uh, Leon Madsen just making his way round been a good night for Leon. He'll be delighted to be in the rerun for the final. Must have had his heart in his mouth. Must have felt that it was a good chance he was going to be thrown out of the race. But he's in. He's on gate two. And Leon Madsen has won here before. Knows how to win the final. So second time of asking there. Madsen's in two. In blue. Freddie Lingwell will come out of gate number three in white. And Max Frick who was sensational in the initial start of this uh, final from gate four. Can he reproduce that now? Often we see riders miss out second time of asking. It can happen yep. to reproduce it again. Hence, I've just got a feeling about Freddie might just do something here. But, you know, if there's any justice, you'd like to think that uh, Max Frick will hit the front now. Yeah, after the sort of start he made, I think it was the best start we've seen all night. Yeah, it was. And he made yeah. it at the right time. He did indeed, yes, absolutely. So, settling down. Look at all that dirt up against the safety fence there. Max Frick obviously clearly likes that. That's why he's chosen to go from there. And he really did get a jet-propelled start last time. Can he do it again? Start Marshall just keen for the riders to come forward. Nerves jangling. Keeping our fingers crossed that this is the last four laps of the evening. A clean run to the chequered flag and the winner of the night. So here we go. Final time in Warsaw. And there they go. And it's another great start for Max Frick off the outside. He's made it. He's hit the first corner in front. Leon Madsen's in second place. Freddie Lingman back in third, misses out. Max Frick, though, what composure. Wow, what a ride from him. He completes the first lap, he's in front. Leon Madsen's pushing hard in second place. Freddie's in third, but Max Frick looks like he's going to win here in the Naradovi. Yeah, fully committed. He's not riding defensively. He's on the edge of the dirt, mid-track, and he's building up plenty of speed. It's good to see Max riding like this. The Aussie uh, champion deserves a little bit more than he saw in the first round with two points. He's going to take this one. Fantastic stuff from him. Super stuff from Max Frick out in front. He's had gate four for the last three outings. He had no hesitation to take that. He made an absolutely dream start away from the outside. And Max Frick is the winner in the Naranovi tonight. What a performance. He failed to score in his first ride, but the Australian champion has turned it on in fine style. And a fully deserved win. Had to do it the hard way, had to come out second time of asking. And they will be absolutely overjoyed. And 20 World Championship points for Max Frick. That's the most important thing, but what a place to take a victory. It's his second Grand Prix win. And uh, yeah, look, playing up to the crowd, great stuff. The crowd are disappointed in the fact that they haven't seen a Polish winner, but they've seen a fantastic race meeting. They have indeed. It's been a thoroughly enjoyable event. It really has been a sight to behold the atmosphere, the track, the racing. It's been a super night of speedway and uh, a terrific pleasure to be back here. The winner of the night, Max Frick, number 46.
The team are delighted, of course they are. It's his second Grand Prix victory in his career. And uh, what a stage to do it on. You can be rightly very, very proud to win here in the Nolodovi. What a night for that young man, Max Frick. Terrific stuff for him. And such a turnaround in form. You know, his league form has not been particularly good. Obviously a disastrous first round in Gorishan. So to come out and ride the way he has ridden tonight. And his night started with the last place. You know, he's turned that around completely. Absolutely. Mikkel Mickelson, although he wasn't in the final, he's got 30 World Championship points. And uh, I'm just wondering whether that's enough. Just going to do a few subs here, actually, Chris, just to see if that actually puts him in the lead of the World Championship. We haven't got that up on our screen at the moment, so we're going to have to do it the analog way. But uh, Mikkel Mickelson had 16 and 14, respectively, so 30 points. Got to say, sorry, excuse me, that's 28 points. So he's on the, he's moved on to oh, it is 30 points. So 30 points to Mick on Mickelson. No, I think he's, and so I think that will actually lead the World Championship. We'll see how many points that Bartosz Schmarzler got for fifth. He might be very, very close indeed. So he may well have um, 10 or 12. So it might just be Smarslik still leading away. Yeah, so. But here we see the run, the rerun again. Yeah, another cracking start from Max Riggs. It's always hard a second time around, particularly with the disappointment of having a, uh, a final that you're leading stopped. Um, but he does it all again. He says that bike is pulling his arms out on the way to the corner. He has got everything spot on by the end of the night and a deserved winner. He pulled away in the end from his opposition. And uh, another good night though for Leon Madsen. And uh, Freddie Lindgren there just having to put the brakes on us. They enter turn three, Leon turning fairly early. Absolutely. And Leon Madsen, of course, who was under pressure, he might well have been thrown out. Uh, he picks up 18 World Championship points to add to his 12 that he had in uh, Croatia. So he'll be chuffed to bits with that port points haul. He moves on to 30 Championship points as well, so it's awfully, awfully tight. Tight at the top. top at the top. I do think that Bartosz Schmarzlik is going to be just in front as we leave here this evening with 32 points. And uh, we've got two riders on 30 points, respectively. But Max Frick, wow, that was some night of speedway for him. I uh, see Thomas will... Kaczynski there celebrating. He's working with Max now. He spent uh, his whole career with uh, Thomas Golub, passing on a wealth of experience. Seems to be paying off. Indeed it does. And Max Frick, this win for him will live long in the memory. To win on a stage like this is a terrific, yeah. terrific thing to do.